Well, hi there. Today we are going to be creating what is affectionately known in the ferret world as duke soup or duck soup, depending on who you talk to. Duke soup is a special treat that can be shared with your ferrets, whether they're perhaps unhealthy or not feeling the best or just as a treat and something that they can enjoy. So there are a variety of different kinds of recipes for Duke soup, but one of the ones that I've been learning and have been using successfully for our ferrets uh, has taught us that we take the regular blend of ferret dry kibble that you would use and uh, I'll link in the description below the mix of different ferret foods that we use. And so I'll take this existing mix of ferret foods and uh, I've tried in, in our Vitamix to blend it here in the dry container. I found that that didn't quite really grind it down to the consistency that I wanted. So I used the liquid grinding format on the Vitamix and that really blended it down properly. So what I was able to do was to take this bowl or actually a much larger container of that ferret meal and blend it right down into really this thin consistency of very fine powder which will blend well with the liquid and help to create a nice soupy consistency and that's what we want because it makes it much more edible so for today to be able to show you how we create the actual duck soup what i do is usually i'm preparing for a serving for our four ferrets i take two of these heaping spoonfuls gosh what are they 50 milliliters it's a 50 milliliter scoop something i think that whether come in a medicine container or a protein scoop something like that but about that much we've got a, a good good chunk and then if i'm feeling excited uh or if it's been a little while we want an extra treat what i'll also do is i'll add in an egg yolk so one of the benefits of having ferrets is that they can be really great for your health in terms of uh, eggs. They love the egg yolks, but egg whites are not good for ferrets. So we don't want to give them the egg, the egg whites, just the egg yolks. So what we'll do is we'll separate the egg white and store that away. And so what we'll do is we'll save those up for a few days and use them for any sort of baking or cooking or use them for just anything that's egg related and now we have a bowl with a little bit of egg yolk in there and what I'll do is I'll take that over to the sink and fill that full of some hot water all right so you see I've really just put a whole bunch of hot water right in there I'm gonna mix that up quite vigorously this will originally as I start putting that water in look very soupy, very liquidy. But as you stir it in and those dry ingredients start to absorb the wet ingredients, you'll see as it sits and settles, it will start to create more of a paste. So it's good to take a couple of minutes to let that sit and settle a little bit. You'll see it's already starting to form more of a pasty consistency, a bit more of a kind of a thick, creamy tomato soup or potato soup. Um, there still are a few little chunks in here, I'll notice, from even that vigorous blending in the Vitamix that we did. I sometimes we miss a few little chunks there, but it's getting pretty close to what we want it to be. Could a little bit, I might just add a little bit more water to this one. Okay. All right, I've added all, just a little bit more water. So that as this settles a little bit, it's going to be just right a bit more of a soupy not quite so pasty because as it cools off and calms down it can really end up solidifying into a hard base which is not quite as enjoyable and one of the things that I do if it's something that we want to do as a bit of a treat for the ferrets is that I will add a little bit of a topping of another favorite treats and for our ferrets that is some salmon oil uh, this is the brand, this Grizzly Salmon Oil, that will add as a treat. Our ferrets absolutely love it. So I'll put a couple little squirts of that in there um, and just mix it right up. They will eat anything that has salmon oil on it. So if I can get their attention and 
get them eating, especially if they aren't feeling the greatest. That's a great way to do it. Another option is, this one's a little bit oily now, but pickle juice, which is basically emu oil. And this is from pickled ferrets, but something that's similar to that that will help them to replenish and just be excited about eating up. And, and so that's how I mix that all up. And because we have four ferrets who don't always play nice with getting into a small bowl, today I'm going to be serving them their lovely meal in this nice long fancy dish. Allows everyone to have their own space. No one is going to be fighting over what they get. Ta-da!